Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver Wing Rock Paper Mario. Now, and I see, I was thinking of because I was going to might do the gym battle in this video, but my Pokemon are really like not going to win if I go against Whitney. I only have like level 16 and 17 Pokemon, so I was just gonna like, no, I'm not going to win if I go up against her because all of you know that Whitney is just you kind of need to know what you're doing when you go into that battle, or she'll just sweep your team. But like, I couldn't go leveling up, because the thing is, if you look at the egg... It's making sounds inside, it's going to hatch soon! Like, I can't like, go leveling up when there's such a high probability that the egg will just hatch without me wanting it to, do you know? Do you know what, I have, I have a feeling that there's like a trainer down here that we didn't get to battle. Did I battle you? Yeah, I did. Um, yeah, so this video I'm probably just going to wander around Goldenrod City and show off the place. Huh? Oh, you cannot be serious! Come on, little one! Come on! Come on, little one! I've been here for the birth of everyone on this island, and it's a Togepi! Togepi came out of its egg! Togepi came out of its egg! Give a nickname to Togepi? Oh my god, I have to change, think of a nickname for Togepi. It's a girl. Oh my god, female Togepi are really rare! That's crazy! Oh god, um... They are like, I mean, female Togepi's are really quite rare. Um, man, I don't know. I'll have to think about this. Man, I've been here for like five minutes. Like, I cut that out, but I've just been sitting here silently trying to think of a name for this thing. And like, I'm in a conundrum. Because like... Like, Togepi's like... I don't really want to name it something really ridiculous and stupid, because I really like Togepi, and it's kind of like, I want to give it like a nice name. That like that's not gonna like mocking well not mocking it not like but I don't want to give it like a silly name I don't know I think I'm just gonna leave it at Togepi for the moment just because I can't just sit here doing nothing but yeah our egg hatched into Togepi have a look at that Togepi and you knows growling so it literally can do no damage so you're kind of forced to um will be kind of forced to um just gonna switch it in and out of battle or whatever. Let's have a look at what it says in the Pokedex about her little Togepi. I love Togepi. I'm telling you guys now, Togepi, Togetic, and Togekiss. I just love them. A proverb claims that happiness will come to anyone who can make a sleeping Togepi stand up. What? As in wake them up? Or just like pick them up while they're still asleep and put them standing up? Is that it? Man, that's gonna weird. Anyway. Have I battled this chick down here? No, I haven't. Well, let's battle him with Pooper, and then we'll go around a practice battle. Man, I'll have to think of like something to name Togepi. Um, let me think. Picnicker Gina wants to battle. It's Gina! Oh my God, that were, that like that was just so stupid. There was like basically at my like um. At like a relative's wedding that we were at or whatever. The band that they had was called like, I don't know, Gina something and the something or something. Anyway, it was like some band, but they were a bad band. They were just like this wedding band kind of thing. But they were really bad. But like what, it was really weird what they did because like for one half of the wedding, like the reception or whatever, it was just the band, right? And then like halfway through, they did just this thing where this voice goes, and it's... Gina! Like that. Like everyone was supposed to be like, Ah! Gina's coming! Like Gina was this big superstar. Like you'd swear it was Madonna or something they were calling out on stage. But no, it was just this bint named Gina. And like, it was just so stu- Like, I, like, I couldn't believe it. We're Like as soon as it happened, we were just all looking at each other going, What the fuck is this? Like, who the fuck is Gina? Like literally, the way they did it, like she expect they expected that everyone would know who she was, and it just was so like stupid the way they staged it that oh for the first half the it would just be the band, and then like they'd make Gina's grand announcement after that. It was just it was so stupid. I'm really considering putting Togepi on like my team at least for a little bit, maybe later on. I don't know. Togepi. Um, I don't know. Let's have. Oh my god, like, uh, there, there can't be that many back sprites where you can see in, like, Generation 1 and 2, where you can just see the entire Pokémon. Because most of them, 
Like, you can't see any of them, hardly. Let's bring Blackula out, because Bulbasaur won't be able to do jack shit to Blackula. I don't know, though. My team is getting kind of full. I kind of... I don't want to, like, box myself in, but... See, the thing is, like, I can use, like... I can, like, always change my team halfway through and put, like... Have loads of different guys or whatever. It was just, like... The, I don't know. The whole Gina thing was ridiculous. It was just... I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Still, like, to this day, we'll just be like, Do you remember that wedding when they were just like, It's Gina! Like, and everyone was like, Who the fuck is Gina? It was just so silly. Oh, Togepi grew to level 6! Yay! Didn't learn anything, but... Yeah, see, the thing is, Togepi and Togetic are really kind of shit in this game, because they can't, they don't really learn any good attacks. And they're primarily, like, their primary use... Like, even then, until you get to Toga, like, even then, in Generation 4 and whatever, Toga Tick is pretty useless. It's not until like, you become, uh, not until, like, you got Toga Kiss in Generation 4 that they actually became useful. I don't know, let's have a real explore around here. What's this? Your Playground, Goldenrod City Game Corner. I might as well show this off, because there are actually two different games in this game corner that you can play. It's not just slots or whatever. What do you say? I couldn't win at the slot, and I blew it on card flipping. I got so furious I tossed my coin case in the underground. Oh really? What do you have to say? I taught Blizzard to my Pokemon. It was hard to get enough coins for it, but it was worth it. Okay, well I don't think we can do anything here until we get the coin case, so I guess... Life is a gamble. I'm going to flip cards till I drop. You see, there are two different games. There's a card flipping one and a slots one. Welcome! We exchange our game coins for fabulous prizes! Oh, you don't have a coin case. Aww. Welcome! We exchange your game coins for fabulous prizes! This music is cool. This music is like music in like Sonic the Hedgehog. I won't quit until I win! Green hair. Is this the guy that sells you coins? Welcome to the game corner! Do you need some coins? Oh, you don't have a coin case for your coins! Yeah, this guy gives you the clue. Basically, we're gonna have to go to the underground tunnel and p pick up the game coin case that he dropped or whatever. Who's this? Woo! This is one big town. I don't know where anything is. Oh. Well, yeah, I don't know where. I I'm, I'm, I want to kind of fish all like the sightseeing into this. I've got a useful phone number for you. Oh, cool. I received Bill's number. Who's Bill? <laughs> My big brother Bill made the PC Pokemon. <laughs> Not who's Bill. <laughs> Do you remember that part? <laughs> Do you remember? I, I just got reminded there when I said who's Bill. Of that part in, um... Oh, so this is like Bill's mom. He had to leave for the Pokemon Center in Ecruteak City. Oh, okay. I guess we'll run into him at some stage. Do you remember in, like, Kill Bill when, like, she just wakes up and she gets your man and, like, starts ramming his head into the door? Well, here's the underground. Man, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. What do you have to say? There are some shops downstairs, but you are all show trainers. I'm scared to go down there. That was the weirdest voice. I couldn't even begin to say what that was. Aw, oh, trainer. I got booted out of the game corner. I was trying to chat using my Pokemon. What? Oh, cheat using... I must have read it wrong. It must have said cheat. Aw. Oh. A super nerd Eric. Super nerd Eric's Grimer! Grimer! Um, but remember when she's like smacking your man's head with the door and she's like, WHERE'S BILL? WHERE'S BILL? <laughs> like that, over and over again. I just think that's so funny. <laughs> WHERE'S BILL? <laughs> oh man. And then she's like there in the car afterwards and she's like, uh, another repeated, repeated line, the same line repeated over and over when she's like, Wiggle your big toe. Wiggle your big toe. Like that. Whenever I hear, li I, th I love lines that are just repeated over and over again, where the same line is repeated, it's really funny. Like in Batman Returns, when, um, when Batman, like, um, sabotages the Penguin's rally or whatever, and he plays the thing over and over again, and it just goes like, I played the stinking city like a harp from hell. I played the stinking city like a harp from hell. I played the stinking city like a harp from hell. Like it just does that over and over again, and the penguin goes crazy and jumps. And like, well, first he gets out his gun, but then he just jumps off the stage on top of a load of people. 
and runs down into the sewers. See, Mudslap has actually been quite handy, because Pooper wouldn't have learned, like, an, I don't know what the next ground attack he learns. He probably doesn't learn any ground attacks until he learns Earthquake or whatever. Because, like, I don't think he learns Dig, and other than Dig and Earthquake and Mudslap, there aren't really any ground attacks, except for the ones that, like, only Q-Bone and Marowak learn, like, Bone Meringue and all them. Send some to Mom. You another trainer? My Pokemon just got haircuts! I'll show you how strong they are! Obviously Kefka's <laughs> Kefka's down here in the underground for some reason. Yeah, he looks like a Ke he looks like one of the freaks that'll be in the cult of Kefka. <gasps> Lickitung! I love you! <laughs> I love Lickitung so much. Let's get his accuracy down first, because who knows what this guy will do. Lickitung is just one of those Pokemon that you're just like, what's it gonna do? Yeah, cut, like who would have thought? Lickitung is just one of those Pokemon that you're just like, what is it gonna do? Because it can, like, Lickitung can actually learn, like, really weird attacks, and you're just gonna, like, what was all that about? <laughs> oh man, I love Lickitung. I can actually, like, this is what I'm talking about with black and white. Do you know, like, one of the things I don't like about black and white, I probably said this in a video before, is that there are no kind of, like, Joe, you kind of seem to find the same Pokemon on every route. Like, let's say if you're in a if you're in a cave, you'll find this Pokemon all the time, and if you're in a route, you'll find this Pokemon all the time. Now, I know that it was kind of the same with caves all the way along, where you'd always find Geodude and Zubat in caves, no matter what, or that kind of way. But like, I think it was just crazy in black and white that on practically every route, you just find the same Pokemon. You find like that Carablast guy. And you find the Zeb, not Zeb Striker, the, the Blitzel or whatever, and you just find them on every single route. And like, whereas like in this game and in Pokemon Red and Blue, you can like, I, you can like find like, like I can remember which route in this game is the route on which you can catch Lickitung, and I remember which route in this game you can catch Farfetch'd, and I know which route you can on this game you can catch Miltank, and like on those routes. Like, on, and those Pokemon, you can't find them anywhere else except on those routes. Just like, in, let's say, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Let's say, on there's only one route where you can catch Volbeat and Elamaze or whatever, do you know? Or there's only one route where you can catch Skarmory. And I really like that! I think it, give, it like, makes the world seem so much more real. Because that's the way it is in real life, where in some area, where some certain creatures, you can only find them in certain areas. Like, do that kind of way. And I just, I don't like it when it just... Give, when the whole world, when there's nothing special about a root, you know, that kind of way, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, so yeah, what's this? Coin case! Well, there's the guys, I thought we were gonna have to look for it. Well, Pooper's level 18 now, I suppose we can start training up Blackula. I'm actually thinking Audrey 2 might be really useful in the gym battle just because of Reflect. I'm actually thinking Pooper might be really useful, actually. Welcome to the Pokemon Salon! I'm the younger and less experienced of the two. Ah, uh, Haircut Brothers, I'll spiff up your Pokemon for just 300, so I'll... No, not yet. I want to kind of... I want... What I'm going to do... Yeah, no, Blackula. Yeah. I, I see, I didn't know whether it would be like the first one in the line that he'd do. I want to give Blackula a haircut. Which Pokemon should I do? Um, well basically, what these haircut guys will do is they'll give your Pokemon a haircut, and you'll see now. There we go, all done! Blackula looks a little happier. And, like, basically, they, there's a younger haircut brother, and there's an older one, and they're there on different days. So if I go here tomorrow, then the older one will probably be here. There's one day when none of them are there. But, um... And I can't remember if that's, like, Sunday or Wednesday or something. Oh man, I have a feeling that this guy has Voltorb. I don't know why, but I have this strange feeling that this guy has Voltorb, so... Let's get Audrey 2 out. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking Mud Pooper might be extremely useful in the gym battle because of Mud Slap. If you know your type advantages, you'll do better in battle. Joe, because, like, I, I don't have to, like, spoil this. This isn't, like, a spoiler. Everyone knows this game, and everyone knows Whitney, and what she does with her mill tank is she uses Rollout. Oh, Magnemite. Well, I was close. Oh, no, Magnemite's a steel type in this game. That just makes things so much more awkward. Um... Yeah, basically, Steve Magnemite is known for only being weak against ground. That's the only type it's weak against, and fire, and fighting. Like, I mean, I don't know, like... 
But like, I, d I don't usually have fire and fighting type attacks on my team. I don't know. Well, Razor League was doing pretty well, in fairness. Oh, Audrey, who you nearly grew up a level. Um, yo, yeah, right, he does have a Volt Orb. Oh, brilliant. Oh, man, I was right. Um, so yeah, those haircut brothers. Basically, if you get like a haircut for your Pokemon from the oh, from the elder of the two of them, then there's like a better ch then like then then it, it, the the Pokemon that you that gets the haircut will become happy happier by a greater degree than if you were to get it from like the younger haircut brother or whatever, Do you know. But um. It's not that big, it, like, basically, I'm going to be doing that, I'm probably going to do it every day, I'm just going to turn on the game and do the... I'm probably just going to turn on the game and get a haircut for Blackula, because, I mean, we. I want to, like, work on his happiness, um, because that'll be necessary if I want to evolve him into Crobat later, which I'm still not sure whether I'll keep him on my team that long, I don't know, it depends. But yeah, like, I mean, he'll evolve into Golbat at, what, level 22, I think? But for him to evolve into Crobat, I'll need his happiness to be really high. It's the same with Togepi. Togepi doesn't evolve into Togetic until his happiness, or in my case, her happiness, which I still have to think of a name for that, Togepi, um, until her happiness is really high, so... I don't know. Um, what am I gonna do? Yeah, so this, I don't know, this, this underground is taking a while, I'm already up to 20, well no, I say I'm up to 20 minutes, but I have 5 minutes of me just staring at the screen going, what am I going to name this Togepi? What am I going to name this Togepi? So yeah, basically, if you want to, the door is locked, oh that's, this is the elevate. no, no, that's, that's for later, we don't have to come back there until way, way later. Um... Pokemon will I train up now? I suppose I should get Blackula out here, even though I don't know what, what kind of Pokemon this guy's gonna have. See, I, I see, I couldn't risk it. I know that, like, I, I, I like, I couldn't risk it because, like, I, I didn't know whether that, like, one Thunder Shock from a Magnemite would just take or a Voltorb would take out Blackula. What does this guy have? Sent out Slowpoke. Oh well, Blackula can take on this guy, no problem. Look at Slowpoke. He's so cute. Do you know who Slowpoke reminds me of? He just looks like Homer Simpson. There's a big pink Homer Simpson hippopotamus or something. <laughs> I don't know. I really like Slowpoke. They're just some of my favorite. And another Slowpoke. <laughs> Pokemaniac Donald. Like Donald Duck. Oh my god, when, like, like, like I know I haven't, like, played Kingdom Hearts that much. I haven't finished it. I've, ha I've only played it, like, for a couple of hours or whatever. And it, I know it didn't entice me to play it anymore after that. I might give it another go another time. But that part at the start when, is it like Donald is trying to wake up Goofy, and he just goes like, Wah! and like points his finger up towards the sky, and Goofy gets zapped, is just insane, like it's the craziest thing ever, I remember when I was playing it, Albert was watching me play it, and he does the best impression of Donald Duck going, Wah! like that, because I can't do it, but like, he does the best, he does it perfectly, it's crazy. Also now we're outside of the... Um, tunnel. Yeah, I'm not going to do a gym battle in this video because there's not enough time. I'll probably wait until next week to do the gym. This is the train station, which is, for now, inactive. The train hasn't come in. I know, I'll carry the passengers on my back! That won't work. Yeah, jeez, you think? And this is a fat man. They built the new radio tower to replace the old creaky one. That's nice. What about you? So, this is the radio tower. What do you want, you pissed? Scram! Oh man, was that a was that a rocket? What's this one I have to say? Welcome to the fabulous tropical sunrench isle, Delfino. Hi, are you here for the lucky number show? Want me to check the idea numbers of your Pokemon? If you get lucky, you win a prize. Four nine 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 three. Hmm. Let's see if you have a match. What? What was that music about? Nope. Why did it play Happy? Was that just the checking the numbers music? We have a special quiz campaign on right now. Answer five questions correctly to win a radio card. Slide it into your Poke Gear to play the radio anytime, anywhere. Would you like to take the quiz? Yeah, sure. Question one. Can the town map the... Yeah, I can on a Poke Gear. Do do. Question two. Can Nidorina be female only? Yes. Bullseye. Does Kurt the Pokeball Craftsman use Apricorn? No, he uses one with a C. Yeah, see? 
See, there were uh, Apricorn with a K. That must be like Magic Carp won't learn any TM move. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he won't. That was the weirdest way to ask the question. Professor Oak's Pokemon Talk is a very popular program. Is Marie? No. Yeah, see? Yay! Bingo! You got it! Congratulations! Here's your prize, a radio card. Yeah, now we can listen to the radio anytime we want. And the, the radio, like... The radio, actually, it's not just for, like... It can actually, like, serve a function. See, it's Mary. It's not Marie from Pokemon. Marie! The baguettes! Hurry up! There goes the baker with his tray, like, always, or something. Isn't that the line? I don't know. Ben is a fabulous DJ. His sweet voice makes me melt. Yeah, jeez, does your, like, boyfriend there next to you appreciate you talking about other men like that? Gee. Oh, I thought it was going to sing and put me to sleep, like in Pokemon Yellow. Lullabies on the radio may make Pokemon sleep. Yeah, I was just going to say, the radio actually has a practical function as well. You can listen to the radio anywhere. Tune in! Yeah, um, the radio has a practical function as well. In that, um... Oh, there's something wrong with the director. Jeez, okay. Something's up with Jack. Something's up with Jack. Boo, 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 boo. Um. Yeah, could I say this? It has a practical function as well, whereby, um, for example, one of the radio stations is called Pokemon. One of, like, for example, if you're listening to radio and the Pokemon March is on, then you'll be more likely to bump into Pokemon. If you're listening to the radio and the Pokemon Lullaby is on, then you'll be less likely to bump into wild Pokemon. Things like that. They will love you in return. Oh, let me see your Zubat. It's quite cute. Okay, so that means that Zubat is, like, getting quite friendly with me. But it's not, like, as friendly with me as it needs to be to evolve yet. When I use an item on my Pokemon, it acts really glad. I keep losing in battles and my Pokemon end up fainting. Maybe that's why my Pokemon don't like me much. Yeah, that's the thing. You have to be careful because every time your Pokemon dies, um, like, there are a bunch of different, like, um, there are a bunch of different things that, like, affect your Pokemon's happiness. Be it dying, be it getting potions and berries used on them. Be it getting haircuts, being poisoned, walking around while poisoned is another thing that they don't like. Huh. I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Give me your name and phone number, and I'll loan you a bicycle. Harry borrowed a bicycle. Um, my bicycles are first rate. You can ride them anywhere. Uh huh, uh huh. You're Squidward. He's Squidward. I'm Squidward. Are there any other Squidwards I should know about? Wow. That's it. I wouldn't sell a house for you if you were the last Squidward on Earth. Oh, look, is that the cycling building? Did I just... Yeah, I was just there. there. Isn't there someone else that I'm missing? There's another building here. Isn't the naming guy here, which I'll need to nickname that Togepi? Isn't, like, the na there, there are two more... Maybe they're probably up near the gym. There are two more buildings here, other than the gym and that Pokemart, which I'll go into last. There's the... Um, the flower shop, which we'll need to go to after we defeat the gym. Oh, here they are. This is probably both of them. La 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 la! La 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 la! A plenty of water, my lovely! That reminds me of that episode of Dexter's Laboratory where Dee Dee gets like the growth serum thing off Dexter and she's going around like watering all the plants with this thing and they're growing giant or whatever. When I wanted that moving tree on Route 36, it jumped! I think it must be a Pokemon, but it would take someone like Whitney, our gym leader, to beat it! Oh, okay. I don't know, we'll have a look at that later. Yeah, we'll need, like, we'll need to go there after the gym battle to get something that to allow us to progress in the game. What do you have to say? Once while I was battling Pokemon, couldn't make any moves. The power points of it, oh my god, yeah, we know about PP. Sometimes a healthy Pokemon may be unable to use its moves. If that happens, heal it at the Pokemon Center. Use an atom, huh? See? Um, where's the name rater? The name rater is definitely here. I'm telling you, I'm not lying. Is this it? Oh, this is him. Hello, hello, I'm the name rater. I rate the names of Pokemon. Would you like me to rate names? Which Pokemon's nickname should I rate for you? Yeah, he says he'll rate it, but all he usually says is, that's a smashing name. But would you like to change it or something like that? 
Man, I'm gonna have to think of a name for- Yeah, that's a fairly decent name. How about a slightly better nickname? Want me to give it a better name? Yes. Man, I don't know. What am I going to name this stupid thing? Um... I don't know. I'll come back. That's the same name, you idiot. I don't know. Oh my god. Um... I'm going naming it. Um... Name. I'm going to. I'm going to stand. I'm not going like sitting here like for ten minutes waiting to name this thing. I'm going thinking of a name now. Yes. What should we name it then? Um. See, it's the fact that it's a girl that's what's throwing me off. Because I could call it any number of things if it were a guy, but I can't think of like. I don't know. I can't think of like. I want a kind of a girl's name that's kind of like. I want a name that like perfectly befit the elegance that is Togepi and Togetic. I don't know. Do you know what, I'm gonna, do you know what, I, why didn't I do this? I'm just gonna name it Misty after Misty because she had, like, Togepi. There we go. And Misty's a nice name. There we go. Misty to Togepi. Alright, this Pokemon's now named Misty. That's a better name before. Well done. Yeah, I think that's a nice name. I think that suits Togepi. It's just a nice name and it makes sense as well. There we go. I love Togepi. I, I don't know whether or not. See, I don't know because I already have Blackula on my team as a flyer, so... What's in here? Underground. Oh, that's where he came out with the underground. Okay. Well, I guess the last thing to go and see before, like, we end off the video is to go and see the, the Pokemart or whatever, the big one. It's like the one in Celadon City. What do you have to say? I'm raring to shop again today! Yeah, we're basically just gonna go up and see what's on every floor or whatever. You can go down underground as well and see stuff. Welcome, how may I help you? Yeah, here's your basics, your basic sundry items that you'll need for everyday Pokemon playing. This guy's probably Pokeballs, is it? Yeah, great. Oh, but we can... Oh, brilliant repels! Thank you! And revives as well, which may come in handy. What do you have to say? I got my Abra at the game corner. Now it's my best partner. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, there's like, um... At the game corner, you... If Well, I must... I should go back there and ship down that I have the coin case, actually. Welcome, how may I help you? Yeah, these are all the... Um, the in-battle stat boosting items or whatever. I'm really impatient. I use X-Speed in battle to speed up my Pokemon. Yeah, that would help your impatience, but it doesn't. Like, I mean... I could understand how that could, like... No, don't buy that! Don't, like, waste your whole, like, savings on that. Yeah, these are the stat-boosting items or whatever. Um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, that, that, but that doesn't make sense, like, that he's impatient. And, um, Macho, Kadabra, Haunter, and Graveler. I heard there are others too. Yeah, there are. There's like, um, all the ones that you trade, like, holding an item that devolve or whatever. Oh, is this the girl I'm looking for? Mystery gift! With just a little beep, you get a gift! See, now that I've talked to her, I think I have access to mystery gift. Because, like, there was this thing on, like, no, I don't want to trade drowsy. Drowsy? Drowsy! Even though you can catch drowsy on, like, the routes around Goldenrod City. So if you want a mod chop, go ahead. But I think you can get mod chop in the game corner as well. Bye. Okay, TM forty one. Okay. Oh wow, these are this is the TM guy. And uh, yeah, everyone was telling me that you can buy um headbutt in the game corner in, in the department store. So I might teach that to Audrey too over tackle. And you can also get like all the different elemental punches, which I don't have anything that can learn them because I don't have anything that has. The only thing I the Pokemon I have that has hands is Misty the Togepi. Well, Clockface kind of has hands as well. Um. But yeah, that guy might be useful for when Pooper evolves, because I might teach, um... I think Quagsire might be able to learn Ice Punch. Sub-Zero Ice Punch! Like, Frigimon's attack. Oh, is this the drinks machine? Do you listen to Lucky Channel? If you want to win, trade Pokemon with his man. Oh yeah, that's like... Yeah, that's just the, the contest thing again. If you're tired, try the vending machine's drinks. Your Pokemon will love them too. Yeah, I actually... I love these drinks. I think they're far better, because like, I mean... A fresh water, like fresh water soda pop and lemonade, like for the amount of HP that they heal, they're way cheaper than buying potions or whatever. Now they take a long time or whatever, but they, like, look, I'll show you. That lemonade was 350 um, Poke Dollars, Lunar Dollars, but um, 
look, it recovers 80 HP, whereas, like, isn't a super potion, like, $500 and it cures 50, I think. We'll check that now when we're going on our way down. But I really like the drinks, like, even the fresh water is really useful. We'll see here now what, how much a super potion is. Yeah, super potion is 700, and that only cures 50, so yeah, go, the lemonade is brilliant. Can't you go downstairs as well if you go into the elevator, and there are, like, um... Aren't there, like, guys down there? Yeah, you can go down to B1F. And there are, like, secret items down there. This video was might be starting to get long. I don't care, though. It's, it's been a nice video. My joke! Yeah, these guys are, like... Th this is, like, the warehouse part of the... Pokemart. Um, yeah, see? It's, like, Aragos or whatever. Yeah, we can't get any... W see, it depends. Like, on different days, the, the, the boxes, the, these crate things will be in different arrangements. So let's say on some one day I might be able to get in past there and and um, get some of those items or whatever depending on what arrangement the crates are in. Um, so, let me think, what else do I have to do to show off everything in Goldenrod City? Well, I want to go to the game corner. Um... Yeah, I want to go to the game corner and show that off first. I have to buy some coins first. But I don't want to spend money buying coins. Yeah, I might as well. 50. That's enough. This music is so cool. It's so like Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know if this is like Pokemon Blue and Yellow where you can like, um, find coins on the ground. Let's see, what's this? Is this the card flip game? Yes, play with three coins. Choose a card. Um, what is it? No, it's see. The, what you have to do is you have to like. What I picked there was level four Poliwag or whatever, but what it was was a level one Jigglypuff. So I think maybe if you pick a J if you pick like the same. If you get, like, the Pokemon right but not the level, or you get the level right but not the Pokemon, you might get, like, some coins or something. But, like, to win big, you have to, like, get it perfect. This is, like, the slots just, like, in red, blue, and yellow. It works the same way. Um, it's just completely random. I don't know. Um, so yeah. That's your game corner there, or whatever. Maybe we can actually go and see, like, what what's on offer to buy with your winnings if you do win. Welcome! We exchange your game coins for fabulous prizes. Team 25, that's Thunder, that's Blizzard, and that's Fire Blast, so they might be useful. In a lot of games you can actually buy them. Team 25 is Thunder, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We exchange your game coins for fabulous prizes. Abra Sa oh no, Abra Sandshrew and Dratini. Man, Dratini is so tempting. Sandshrew. Yeah, they're, they're all pretty good Pokemon. But yeah, I, th I don't think there are any other ground attacks other than, mud other than like, that Wooper will learn, like, except Earthquake. He does, like, because there's no Mud Shot or Mud Bomb or any of those ones in this game. So, I think, like, I think that's enough of a video. I think I'm after going to, like, 33 minutes. I, d I don't, like, so, I think we're going to leave it at that for here. I think in between video is what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to like train everyone up like a little bit. I'll decide what I'm going to do with like Togepi, I don't know. I'm going to train everyone up a little bit, maybe until like about level 20 or so, because that's the level that Whitney's Mill Tank is, is 20, so. Is it 19 or 20? It's one of them anyway, so I'm just going to get everyone up to about level 20. I have an idea of what, how I'm going to do it. I'm probably going to like use Pooper's Mud Slap lower her accuracy just so she can't like chain me with um, a rollout or whatever that's probably a good idea and as well rollout will be not very effective against pooper so anyway we'll see what that how what happens in the next video anyway when we in next week when we take on goldenrod gym in let's play pokemon silver with me rock paper mario thanks a million for watching guys